this is more about life in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. The dummy craps passed the American Relief Act in the House. Two of them voted no. The PM says it is vital that the Senate pass it quickly because so many Americans are suffering and they need that help from their government. If that is true, then America has come to a whining, pathetic end. Also, I've heard that 10% of the $2 trillion will go to COVID-19 relief. The trumpet is going to make a speech at some political function in Florida tomorrow. I think maybe, just for the hell of it, he'll push to incite another riot. Begging your pardon, rampage. Gotta keep the term straight here, or Mr. Peeps will lose his shred of cred. My partner and I got the vaccine today. We got the Pfizer vaccine. We took what they gave us. There are three of them now, and sometimes I'll see a report touting one over the others. It's that kind of persistent bullshit that made me want to skip it, but we were, but we went ahead and got our shots. We're old, they say. We need it. All the people I saw working at the place were women, and they were uniformly very pleasant, efficient, and professional. We went through it without a hitch. I'm reading a book with some science in it. Among the things it considers, there is gravity and entropy. No one knows how these operate, but their existence is widely accepted. Gravity is a weak force of attraction that is sometimes described as spooky action at a distance. Though it is weak compared to electromagnetic force, it serves to hold matter in stable patterns in the universe, like our solar system. It reminds me of Republicans. Entropy is constantly at work throughout the universe and is, ultimately, its future. It is the tendency in all things to deteriorate, to move from an orderly state to disorder, a random configuration, chaos. Because of entropy, the universe will one day be an enormous, undifferentiated clump of mush. The dummy craps, with all of their social plans and benevolent intentions, remind me of entropy. They seek ideals like justice and equality without regard to cost, and what is produced is usually mush. When something doesn't happen, that's pretty remarkable, especially in the year 1 CE. The trumpet was supposed to give a speech at a conservative convention yesterday, and as far as I know, not far, he did. But I have not heard a single word about it, pro or con, and that is what is so remarkable. Is it possible that things could be settling down? The dummy craps pushing their entropy agenda, want to pass a bill that makes it legal for a teenage girl to decide she wants a double mastectomy and to start taking testosterone. The third vaccine is being shipped today. Soon there will be many millions of doses available. And the PM will stand in the Rose Garden wearing his black mask and he will announce a great victory that he shares with the American people over the coronavirus. It isn't over yet, he'll say, but we've turned a corner. Maybe 
Liberty Hill toss in another stimulus package so those brave people will be able to celebrate. With the addition of the third vaccine, things are looking up for the field mouse. He still blames the lame statewide effort on a simple lack of vaccines. And he will now be adding more people to those who qualify for a shot. They are shooting for herd immunity. No. And the poor field mouse is learning how to live without his curfew. The New York governor, who mishandled the virus situation and then staunchly denied that he did, is now going to be investigated for sexual allegations. It was nothing he did, mind you. It was something he said, an impropriety. Two women have charged him with saying these things. Judging by the number of politicians who have bailed on him, including Fancy Bulldozy, who has to be very out front on something like this, it looks like this guy is going to be knocked off his perch. It's noted because he's a dummy crap. The, the Republicans have been punching bags for four years. Now it's the dummy crap's turn, I guess. Bad timing, because as the virus fades, something is required to fill the news, which, like nature, abhors a vacuum. He has little going for him other than his father's name, and that might not be enough. So, after a string of Republicans and the trumpet, now it's his turn. <laughs>